All right, we've got here a um, black light incandescent light bulb. This is a pretty unique item because the classic black light was made with a mercury vapor sort of fluorescent style um, lamp where you, you basically uh, ignited a mercury vapor plasma inside of a glass tube and then the ultraviolet radiation created by the mercury vapor plasma exited through a glass envelope and similar color to this one. And then that was your black light. Nowadays, probably in the past 10 to 15 years, we've had LED black lighting take over because we do have LEDs that are capable of creating that, that uh, wavelength. But historically, people created these in order to try to save money on the initial cost of a black light. Because, you know, if you had to buy a fluorescent fixture and then buy the tube and everything, you know, you could be looking at, you know, a little bit of cash there. I mean, not that it was that expensive, but still, somebody could also buy an incandescent light bulb for less than a dollar. And that's what we have here. But how, these, how effective are these? So like I said, with mercury vapor, there's a lot of ultraviolet light that comes off of that. And with LEDs, the LEDs are specifically designed where the semiconductor material used to make the LED is tuned exactly for black light, for, you know, less than 400 nanometer wavelengths. But incandescent bulbs operate purely off of heat. So the filament that we see in there is operating at, you know, several thousand degrees Celsius. And the hotter it gets, the shorter the average wavelength of light is that comes off of it. Now, an incandescent light bulb, your classic, you know, 60 watt or 100 watt light bulb operates at about 2700 degrees Kelvin or, you know, that's somewhere around, you know, so that's like a 2500 degrees Celsius. It's quite warm, maybe 4000 to 5000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that that filament is hot as it is is only half of the temperature of the surface of the sun. That's why incandescent light bulbs look yellow when compared to sunlight, because the wavelength is shifted towards the red side of the rainbow versus the sun, because the filament is not nearly as hot as the sun. So what we're trying to do here is basically the, the, the fraction of radiation that comes off of that filament. It's a, it's a bell curve style of um, sort of, you know, it's a, it's a statistical distribution of frequencies or wavelengths of light. And incandescent light bulbs peak in the yellow range of the spectrum. Sunlight peaks in the green range of the spectrum. And the um, light that's being emitted here is basically the yellow range. And we're filtering out everything except for the dark purple and ultraviolet. There's extremely low quantities, probably far less than 1% of the energy emitted from that filament is actually black light. It's actually ultraviolet. But this bulb is designed to take advantage of it. So we can see that the, the envelope of the glass envelope is extremely dark. Uh, this light bulb is 75 watts. Now I'm only running it at half power because I want to conserve the, uh, the filament here. But let's, for a few seconds, fire it up to full power. Um, so just out of curiosity... Okay, there we're at full power. It doesn't look much different on the camera, but in, in reality, in real life, it's a little bit brighter. We're at full power, 75 watts. Okay, and the way that I was reducing the power is I'm using this cord that I built with a diode in it that effectively half-wave rectifies the electricity so that only half of the power can get to the bulb. So it's a very simple light dimmer for incandescent light bulbs. But we got this bulb, I'm heating it up, Let's go shut the uh, lights off in this room and come back to it. Okay. <clears throat> right, there it is. Okay, it actually looks a lot more dramatic now on the camera than it does in uh, by the eye. But we can see that it actually is kind of exciting, this yellow uh, power cord here. And... I don't really have any other black light excitable items in this room, but you know, certainly 
it um, kind of is giving you the effect of a black light. But the range on this is extremely low compared with what you'd get from a, you know, a, a fluorescent or an LED back uh, black light. All right. But it's still pretty neat, you know. It's a it's a neat uh, idea that they they have here with incandescent light bulbs. That filament. And all right, here we're going to measure. Let me turn the light back on. Uh, let's measure the temperature of the outside of the glass, because this thing is seventy five watts of power going in here. But the fact is that the envelope, the glass envelope, is blocking most of the radiation from exiting the bulb. So. All of the energy that cannot escape that glass is, is absorbed by the glass and converted into heat and it heats up the glass. And I can smell the, the glass getting hot and all the, you know, the dust and everything burning off of it. But we can measure the temperature of this glass. Look at that. That glass is 520 some degrees Fahrenheit. You could cook food on that. I mean, that is crazy hot. Depending on where you shoot it, the very top, I expect to be the hottest. I saw 530. Yeah, 530 degrees. Really, really warm. All right, let's switch it back to um, half power. Okay. Now we're on half power. My idea here is to build a lamp that uses this but only runs it at half power so that it isn't using as much electricity and it also is um, preserving the life of the bulb because an incandescent light bulb, the relationship between the applied average voltage or the filament temperature is related to the um, life of the bulb by a power of 13, the exponent of 13. So it's a very dramatic difference. If you reduce the voltage, um, there's a very dramatic increase in the life of that filament in an incandescent bulb. So let's uh, see what it looks like with the light off at half power. It still looks like, it's not as bright, of course, but you can see here that it's still kind of lighting up the uh, this stuff. And, and this definitely is more blue looking on the camera than it is by my eyes. So I think the camera made me more sensitive to some of the uh, the differences in the brightness of these things. So that's it, incandescent black light bulb.